Today I want to share with you what is tallow, specifically what is beef tallow and how is it different from beef suet. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferment, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, I've received many emails and comments from you regarding tallow. You've asked me to explain what specifically is tallow and how is it different than suet? So what exactly is tallow? Well, tallow is rendered suet. So what is suet? Suet is the fat, the internal fat, that surrounds the organs of a cow. And your best suet, your most nutritious suet, is going to be from the fat that surrounds the kidneys of the cow. And it's that fat, that suet, that is then rendered to create tallow. But what do we mean when we use the term render? To render suet means to simply heat it at a low temperature for an extended period of time that allows it to melt and have any little bits and bobs, so to speak, that are in the suet to basically fall to the bottom of your pan. Then you strain what's been melted and then you have your tallow. Now what I have here in this bag is suet. And this is suet that has been taken from around the kidneys of a cow. Now this is a five pound package and it has been run through a meat grinder. But this is just the way that I was able to buy it. You may also find that you have to buy suet in a big chunk. Either way, you can render it into tallow. If it is in a chunk, all you'll need to do is cut it up into smaller chunks. You don't need to run it through a meat grinder. You don't need to process it in a food processor or get it chopped really, really small. It's really not necessary. All you need to do is cut it into cubes, maybe about one inch or so in size. But what if you can't find suet, but you'd still like to have some beef fat to cook with? You can certainly ask your butcher for the trimmings that he's removed from various roasts and whatnot. The only difference is that beef fat is fat that's come from around the muscles of the animal. Technically, that's not suet. However, it's relatively close. Now, technically, the beef fat that comes from around the muscle meat isn't exactly tallow once it's rendered. However, the term tallow has been used somewhat interchangeably today to mean either the fat that comes from around the muscle meat of the cow or the suet that comes from around the internal organs. But even though they are somewhat different, they still are both wonderful to cook with. And the two differences are one, the beef fat that's been rendered from muscle meat will be a little softer at room temperature versus the suet that has been rendered into tallow, which will be a little harder at room temperature. But both are very shelf stable and should last at room temperature, assuming that it is covered in a nice airtight container for at least a year. The other difference between beef fat that has been rendered from muscle meat and suet that has been rendered into tallow is that tallow is the most nutritious of the fats. Both fats are very nutritious, whether the fat comes from the muscle meat or from around the internal organs. And they have very similar nutritional profiles. But suet is richer, and it's rich in vitamins A, D, E, K, and B1, plus it's rich in minerals like selenium and choline. So you can see that suet rendered into tallow and used to cook with is going to add a lot of nutrition to your meals. And it's definitely something that we want to be using in our traditional foods kitchens. And the reason that beef fat, and specifically suet that's been rendered into tallow, but also the beef fat that's been rendered from muscle meat, 
is that it has a very high smoke point. Suet rendered into tallow has a smoke point of 420 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 220 degrees Celsius. So you can see how this is fantastic for frying, sauteing, and even deep frying. Now, something that's important to note if you're a crafter and you like to make soap and candles and you want to do it in the way that the pioneers did, then you really want to make sure that you have suet that you've rendered into real tallow. And the reason is because tallow, as I had mentioned earlier, at room temperature is very hard. So it's perfect for using to make candles and soap. Now, if you'd like to learn how to render suet and make your own tallow at home, I'll be sure to link to the video where I show you how to do that. Now, just for a quick overview, in addition to me linking to that video where I actually go through the steps of how to render suet into tallow, what I want to tell you is this is a very easy thing to do, whether you're using the fat that's been removed from muscle meat or whether you're using actual suet. All you do is basically put this in a large pot, preferably a nice heavy pot, and you can do this on the stovetop or in the oven. It takes a little more babysitting on the stovetop, but can probably be done quicker, and it'll take a little longer in the oven. But the nice thing about doing it in the oven is you don't really have to babysit it. And the most important thing to remember is that you want to do this low and slow. You really want to render beef fat at about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want it to go higher than that and you don't want to rush it. You can also do this in a slow cooker if you have one of those and you can do it on low. That'll work very well too. And many folks will add a little water to keep things from burning, but if you have to add water to keep things from burning, your temperature is too high. You shouldn't need to add any water. Just keep your temperature low and you're going to be a success. Now this much suet uh, it done in the oven is probably going to take somewhere around five to six hours. On the stovetop, maybe an hour or two. And in the slow cooker, it'll be very similar to the oven. Now, if you'd like to learn more about rendering fats, specifically how to render the suet, as well as how to make schmaltz, which is rendered chicken fat, along with recipes for how to use your fat, be sure to click on this video over here, where I have a playlist with lots of wonderful information. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.